I've never seen a team. I've never seen a dev team do what I'm about to showcase to you guys. As we continue our live service for the first descendant, we have no plan to respond by simply nerfing certain content for any gameplay which collides with our intentions. It's so good to see a dev team and development studio not want to take away the player's fun, the fun that the player is having. Welcome to the channel. My name is Easy Now. I am covering for DPJ this week while he is on holiday. And we have an update that the farm is actually being nerfed. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and is giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord is linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army so over on the first descendant discord and also on twitter they put out a message which we'll read right now it says we apologize for the confusion caused by the misinterpretation during the translation process of the original Korean text. Now, if you didn't know, this game, you know, is owned by a Korean company, which means that all their patch notes and all their updates and everything come from a Korean person and team. And then it's translated into English by people who are English speaking. And according to this, it was misinterpreted. There have been no reversals of decisions. And our initial statement remains that we do not intend to restrict the Valby run playstyle. However, as we mentioned, we aim to adjust the rewards efficiency at the Fortress Outpost to balance it with other regions. Once again, we apologize for any confusion in our communication. We will do our best to be as clear as possible. So this is something you want to run now and farm now because they are going to nerf the rewards. And if you did not know where it was or what it is, we go over to Fortress here. I'm going to set it to public so we can probably see other people. We're going to go into the defense line and we're going to travel over to this area here. Right, and when you are here, you are going to find hopefully some other people. We're going to run in. We're going to blow up all of these... Well, we're going to try to blow them up. I completely miss shot that one. Blow up all four of these. And then we will start a three minute run where we can just constantly kill enemies over and over and over. And get loads of Kaipa and gold and stuff. If I remember rightly, you can get close to 400,000 Kaipa shards. You can get um, 600,000 gold supposedly every three minutes. My tests worked out differently, but I'm just going with what people say that it is and a whole bunch of just other stuff it's the best farm in the game by far for xp weapon proficiency gold kyper shards all together and all you have to do is have more than one valby this is why it's called valby run and you just go around the outside dropping your water can be done with bunny as well but just not as efficiently and the water will just stay on the floor killing people as they spawn you can already see how many golds and kypers and items that i'm getting drop and it's just a phenomenal farm so again you should be doing this before it's nerfed because it probably will get nerfed into the ground because of how efficient this is i've never seen that guy spawn on that rock before <laughs> so there was a misinterpreted line as is so we would like to inform you that preparing a patch without completely blocking the fortress outpost issue and to keep allowing the players to enjoy playing like before however at the same time we will update other farming locations to match the efficiency equivalent to the fortress outpost that is not true and it's that last little part about the efficiency of the rewards so it should read so we would like to inform you that we're preparing a patch without completely blocking the fortress outpost issue and to keep allowing the players to enjoy playing like before however at the same time we will update the fortress volgus strategic outpost to match the efficiency of other farming locations and essentially what that is going to mean is probably less enemies probably less kuiper probably less gold which would result generally in less xp and less weapon proficiency which is a huge shame because you would like for them to you know allow us to farm these things people are putting in so much time and effort and energy into this game that i think it should just be that they bring other farming locations up to match this location because it's just the game can be quite grindy 
you know everyone loves a grind but this is like a dramatic version of grinding so i feel like anywhere that we can make that a little bit easier a little bit more viable for people to join in on and want to do the game in general is just going to be healthier and better but all is not lost there probably will be other farms that come out to be pretty good and as soon as myself or dpj know of those farms you will be first to hear about them that's the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped thank you for watching i have been easy now covering for dpj you have been awesome